when we have a simultaneous equation involving a quadratic, the easiest method to use is called substitution. So you can see here we've got y equals x plus 10 from our linear, from the straight line one. So y equals x plus 10. So I can take this x plus 10 and substitute it in for y. So wherever I see y in the quadratic one, I can change it for x plus 10. So this becomes x plus 10. So it gives me x plus 10 equals x squared plus 3x plus 7. Now to solve a quadratic, I need to make it equal to 0. So I'm going to minus x from both sides. So that will give me 10 equals x squared plus 2x plus 7 and minus 10 from both sides. So that gives me x squared plus 2x minus 3 is equal to 0 so we can solve it. The easiest way to solve a quadratic is to factorise it. So let's put it into two brackets. It's got to be 3 and 1 and it's plus 3 take away 1. So that means x is equal to minus 3 or x is equal to 1. So there are x's, two x values, and we're going to have two y values. So if x is minus 3, minus 3 plus 10 is 7. And if x is equal to 1, 1 plus 10 is 11. So these are our answers. We've got two solutions, two sets of solutions. Okay, so here we've got 3x squared plus 2y equals 19 and 6x minus y equals 14. So we need to make this x equals or y equals so we can substitute it in. This is our linear one, the one without an x squared. So we're going to make it x equals or y equals. It's easiest to make it y equals. If I just plus the y to both sides, it will be y equals. So 6x minus 14 equals y. So in the quadratic one, I can substitute 6x minus 14 wherever I've got the y. So that's going to give me 3x squared minus 2. This is the y, so 6x minus 14 equals 19. Now I'm going to expand the bracket. So minus 12x plus 28 equals 19. Take the 19 off both sides, so I need it to equal 0 to solve it. 3x squared minus 12x plus 9 equals 0. So now to try and factorise it. I can see each of these numbers, they're all in the 3 times table. So to make it easier, I'm going to divide through by 3 first. So x squared minus 4x plus 3 equals 0. Now I'm going to factorise it. So I'm going to move it up here x in both, 3 and 1 are the only factors of 3, I need to make minus 4, so minus 3 minus 1. So x is equal to 3 or x is equal to 1. Now to find the y values, I'm going to substitute them in to here. So y is 6 3's minus 14 or y is equal to 6 1's minus 14. So 18 minus 14 is 4, and 6 minus 14 is minus 8. So we've got 3 and 4, and 1 and minus 8. Okay, this time the question says give answers to three significant figures. So what that's telling me is I'm not going to be able to factorise this one. It's going to be a quadratic formula question. So first step's the same. So I've got y equals here. 
So I can substitute this in for the y. So x squared plus, there's the y, 2x plus 3 squared equals 25. I need to expand this bracket, so that's actually a double bracket. 2x plus 3, 2x plus 3. So we're going to expand the bracket. It's going to give us 2x times 2x, which is 4x squared. 2x times 3 is 6x, 3 times 2x is 6x, and 3 3s are 9. Then we're going to collect the like terms, and we go over here. 1x squared plus 4x squared is 5x squared. Uh, 6x plus 6x is 12x, plus 9 equals 25. Now I'm going to take 25 off of both sides to make it equal to 0, because it needs to be equal to 0 to solve the quadratic. And that's minus 16 equals 0. Okay, so we've got A, so we can't factorise this. It's told us we're going to give the answer to three significant figures. We don't factorise the three significant figures. So A is 5, B is 12, C is minus 16. These go into the quadratic formula. So the quadratic formula is this. So we just substitute the numbers in. So it's minus 12 plus or minus the square root of 12 squared minus 4 times 5 times minus 16 all over 2 fives. So we type it in the calculator for plus first, and that gives us 0 0.954 to three significant figures. Then we change it to a minus, and that gives us minus 3.35 to three significant figures. There are two x values. To find the y values, we use this formula. So let's write down those x values first. So x equals 0 0.954 and x equals minus 3.35. So to find the y values, we have two of these plus 3 or two of these plus 3. So I'm going to use the calculator again. So for the first one, that's y equals 4.91 and for the second one y equals minus 3.71 okay here's two for you to try so pause the video give them a go okay so we need to make this linear equation either x equals or y equals. So I'm going to make it y equals, so I'm going to take x away from both sides, and that will give me y equals 4 minus x. Then I can substitute for wherever I've got y here, I can change it to 4 minus x, because y is 4 minus x. So x squared plus 3 times 4 minus x equals 10. So x squared plus 12 minus 3x equals 10. So that's x squared minus 3x plus 12. Just changing the order here because I know for quadratics I want the x squareds, then the x's, then the numbers. And then I'm going to take 10 because I want it equal to 0 plus 2 equals 0. Okay, so I'm going to factorise it. Factors of 2 of only 1 and 2, so it's going to have to be 1 and 2 to make minus 3, minus 1, minus 2. So x is 1, or x is 2. So y equals 4 minus x, so 4 minus 1 is 3, and 4 minus 2 is 2. Okay, over here, so we've got y equals x plus 2. So 
I can substitute y for x plus 2. So I'm just going to change that. x plus 2 squared equals 16. So that's a double bracket. x plus 2 times x plus 2. So we have to expand it. x squared plus 2x plus 2x plus 4 equals 16. So I've got 2x squared plus 4x plus 4 equals 16. And take 16 off both sides to make it equal to 0. 2x squared plus 4x minus 12 equals 0. So we've got A is 2, B is 4, C is minus 12. They go into the quadratic formula, so we substitute them in. I don't have actually space to write down what I'm typing into the calculator. You, you do have to show what you typed into the calculator, so do show you're working out. I just don't have the space to do it here. So I've typed it into the calculator. A is 2, B is 4, C is minus 12. So that gives me a x equals 1.65. And then I'm going to change it to a minus, get the second answer. So x also equals minus 3.65. Okay, so we've got y is x plus 2. So to get the y values, we have to plus 2 on. So 2 plus this is 3.65 and adding 2 onto this is minus 1.65. So they are our answers.